Hey, good morning. So first of all, I just wanna make sure that you guys saw the post about my computer not downloading things. Kyle's working on it today and I will start to get all the downloads to you or the video, the um, Zoom recordings to you. But don't use that as an excuse as to not know what's going on because I gave you guys an overview of week three last week. I'm going to give you another one today or tomorrow, week four. Guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kind of put my foot down on something here. Um, I need you to make a decision right now. I need you to make a decision as to how you're going to spend the next two weeks in this retreat. Are you going to take it for what it's worth and do the work? Do the work on yourself, guys. You're not doing this work for me. You're not doing this work for your mama or your granny. You're doing it for you. Do the work. Put the work into yourself, all right? You deserve that. My dad used to always say, excuses are like assholes. Everybody's got one. We all have issues. We all have stuff going on in our life. What we have the most control over though is if we make that stuff an excuse. You can use it to your advantage or your disadvantage, whatever it is you have going on. You have to make that choice right now. Nobody else can make it for you. So back to the journaling thing. When I ask you to journal every day for the next five days, do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. There is a reason. At this point, you have to trust me. Hopefully you trust me. Right? <laughs> My God, I hope you trust me. <laughs> but there is a reason. It is about discovering what is really going on in your head. It's discovering truths. The number one rule in journaling is that you don't think. You write. Because that's when your subconscious is really coming into effect. You're, subcon you're letting your subconscious free when you do that. And the stuff you will learn is amazing. So whatever your excuse is, get rid of it and start journaling five minutes every day. Set a timer on your phone. Set some time to be quiet. If it's a total fail, that's okay. You set the time to do it. Set the timer on your phone for five minutes. Put pen to paper. Don't think just write. You can write about whatever comes to mind. I told Maggie this morning, if you, if you were thinking about goat piss for some reason, write about goat piss. I write about love sometimes. I write about, you know, just the garden sometimes. I, just, I write about whatever is on my mind. There is no right and wrong. But here's the deal. There is a wrong. The wrong is just not doing it because of whatever excuses you may have. Anything in life, that you want. If you don't start, if you don't strive for it, one thing is certain, you will fail. You will fail. So, you've got to make the decision now. Are you going to make the most of these next two weeks? Are you going to recommit? Are you going to stay committed? And are you going to put the work in that needs to be done to get you to where you want to be? If the answer is no, I can't help you. That's your thing. You need to dig a little deeper. You need to, you know, maybe find some more stillness. I don't know. But if you can commit to that, I can help you. I want to help you all, but you have to be open to that help. Journal, stay committed, get involved, recommit, ask questions. Please don't assume that I know what is going on in your head. Please don't assume that, that, you know, I, I don't know, I, I can't, I, unless you ask questions, I, I can't help you sometimes. I give you what I know I can give you, but at some point, it's gotta be amicable, you know, two-way communication. Um, so yeah, maybe this is a little tough love going into the new week, and I didn't expect this video to be that long, but um, you know, you just, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. This week, we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, scheduling, about helping you, I'm going to help you create more time in your schedule, right? Because that's a that's an excuse a lot of you you guys use is time. But here's one thing I know: if you find something important enough, you're going to find the time to do it. If you find it important enough to work on yourself, you're going to find the time to do it. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. So if you are not going to journal or commit 
that's okay. Maybe you don't see the value in it yet. But again, there's only so much I'm gonna be able to help you with that. I mean, you're in this to help yourself. So, with that said, you have questions, please ask. Um, I'm about to go and do a um, yoga thing. If maybe yoga is not your thing and you're just in it for the self-discovery and the learning and the scheduling, then there we go, that's fine. But do, do commit to doing what you, get the most out of this. Do what you need to do to get the most out of this. And let me help you do that. All right guys, have a good day, bye.